let's start with kidney cancer, but I definitely want to have the conversation about bladder cancer because probably yeah, right. you're far more of that in clinic than regular kidney cancer. So let's talk about presenting symptoms, typical sort of age and sort of subtype of person and, and um, what people can expect with those two cancers. Yeah, perfect. So I really think that we have to take the age number away. And I've seen that probably more in the last couple of years, and that might lead to things. But in the last couple of years, I think younger people are getting cancer. Everyone is getting perhaps more cancer. And we can't ignore that side effect, the symptoms, the red flags, just because someone's young. And so I would say any change in kidney or bladder function, so urinary output, the color of urine, any pain or sensations in any area is around the back or abdominal space and of course anything like blood or you know uh, mucus or color changes need to be investigated and when doctors are doing general bloods we want to perhaps take those bloods and have a look ourselves to make sure that there's not decline in some of the typical metrics around kidney function and liver function and inflammation and some of those markers that can suggest something's not quite right here